the biggest hurdle um, in India is that uh, just the awareness of gathering just for ideas. Um, I mean, here we want to know solutions, we want to do deep. We want to, if we spend three days and one lakh on paying for a conference to go somewhere, we want some business out of it immediately in the same calendar year. Um, it, the idea to create relationships and uh, develop the market and develop ideas and that, you know, something you may see today may have an impact three years later. And just to be open to an open forum is a new concept for us. So most people feel that either, I mean, if they are, people who can afford to pay a lakh and come to the conference. Uh, the first question is, why aren't they a speaker? You know? So even if they're convinced to be an audience, uh, they're used to being invited for free. People who can afford to pay are not used to paying. And uh, the third thing is people, the question we always get is that, but what will I get out of it? Will I will I be able to do a deal out of it or not? So I think it's just a matter of us growing up. I, I look at India as a teenager. You know, we got our economic independence in 91 or so. So we are about 19 now. So I think uh, uh, the adult uh, behavior of, you know, just let's get to know, we don't know where this is gonna go, is a new idea. Yeah, but having said that, I must say I'm just thrilled at the way people have embraced it. Uh, people like Gopal Srinivasan uh, from Chennai Sura, have really become inner circle members of the conference that we're doing and supporting activities like this in a very, very profound and deep way. Uh, so it's wonderful to see people supporting us and understanding why something like TED, that way of thinking, is important in India. Thank you.